the top two positions in the Super League still up for grabs so a vital two points on offer it will be Rovers to get this game underway Mikey Lewis has the ball on the kicking tee the referee is Chris Kendall the noise is absolutely deafening inside the Lee Sports Village and we are underway it's collected by Lee and Rob Mulhern the former Robin leads the charge out he's met just outside his own 10 solid hit from the Robins in the blue strip for this one Lee in the red leopard print Lee, it was good defence from Lee and from Lee Leopards rather nearly a slip up there that's got height from Lewis again Taro May fancies it he's knocked it back Ryan Hall's collected Ryan Hall goes in for the Robins they may look at it no they're not but as long as Tyrone May is onside and the ball goes backwards it's a clean collect from Ryan Hall and Rovers will have the lead it was going to go to the try he's now sent it up as a try but he does want it to be looked at by the video referee I think Ben Failer may be in the uh, the video referee box for this one. So two things count here. Was Tyrone May on side and did his knock back go backwards for Ryan Hall to collect? If the answer to those two questions is yes. Rovers will have the lead. Taro May, as he's often done this season, he gets himself there, doesn't he? To these high hanging kicks. He knocks it back towards the left wing. Ryan Hall picks up. And for me, this one should be given. To just check it if Ryan Hall touches the touchline. The answer to that is a big, big no. And the Rovers, number five, looks as though he has the opener in this game. Just awaiting the confirmation on the screen. Oh, just coming up to 21 minutes gone. And Rovers hit the front. Ryan Hall, the try scorer. They get themselves back down inside the lee end, get some possession. Good carry from Luckley. That's five. Will Lewis decide to go for touch with this one? No, he's gone high again and again. Tyrone May has pushed it back. Ryan Hall, Mikey Lewis. I think Rovers may get a penalty here. It's play on. Mikey Lewis has played to the whistle and scored. The referee's going to send it upstairs again. He's given a try on the field. Magic Mikey, who else may have Rovers second? We're going to go right back to the kick. Tyro May, I'll tell you what, the effort he puts on these kick chases, but was he onside? He's got. As the, the further this rolls on, the better news it is for Rovers, I feel. That went backwards. From May again, and I think Lee may have touched it and then been offside because it may have been a Lee man who hit it well. All I know is it looks as though Rovers may be in Asiata and Amon 
are leaving the field for the Leopards. Everything's going on. Ryan Hall got possession. He found Mikey Lewis on the 10. Mikey Lewis fended off one, stepped another. He escapes the tackle. He reaches over and he scores. That's a try. Decisions coming up. And it's good news for Rovers. The try is awarded. And they lead this game by eight points to nil. teacher as a kid don't they play to the whistle that's exactly what Rovers did and they got their rewards with the Mikey Lewis try big following from East Hull again for this game and they're happy with what they've seen from their side so far and make no mistake about it Lee threw the kitchen sink at Rovers in that last 10 minutes and Rovers have hit them with a sucker punch Just a one downside for Rovers in that first half was that Nile Levels did fail his head injury assessment. So he, he won't be returning in this one, but Rovers have the ball at the start of the second half with Sam Luckley. You can sense a try coming here for the Robins. Lewis tries to bounce off defenders. He's still going, Is Mikey Lewis. Parcel. He's orchestrating. Flat pass to Jesse Sue. Jesse Sue goes in to the left hand side of the upright for the Robins. Third try of the game, first of the second half. The big man does it again. Jesse Sue has only been on the field a matter of minutes, moments, and he's in for a try. 14 0 to the Robins. Big smile on the face of Jesse Sue. And you have to trace that back to the poor offload of Penny. Lee were making good inroads up the middle and then he tried a ridiculous offload. Bachelor collected. And Rovers marched them downfield and go in for try number three. Importantly, it means Lee now need three tries to get themselves back in this game and it's really silenced this big Lee crowd, the Rovers fans are celebrating, Jesse Sue in front of the Rovers faithful boy he enjoyed that one Jai Whitbread will be back for Leeds next week Litton this time puts boot to ball oh that's going to bounce Lee collects it oh what a shot that was Taro May absolutely clattered the Lee man. It may have been Trout. He's seen stars of his song as a result. Oh! Jesse Sue! Have it! That's a decent kick to touch. Oh. He's going to carry on, I think. Looks more his wrist than his hand, though, doesn't it? tell you what these guys are absolute warriors aren't they they put their bodies on the line no one Miss Kendall calls the tackle listen will he have a scamper goes crash ball Jack Brown going for the line just held up close to a debut try there for the Robins as play goes on long floated ball out wide Hall has pushed it back inside it's still Rovers possession Tyrone May pushes it inside it's controlled by Stoughton Matty Stoughton to Mikey Lewis! Game over! The Lee Leopards are being buried on their home patch now by the rampant Robins! 
Lewis has a second. Again, they played to the whistle. And it's 20 nil to Hull Kingston Rovers. Just over the hour mark. And in front of his adoring East Hull public, Mikey Lewis brags a brace for the Robins. Credit Hall and Mayo kept the ball alive. Great work from Matty Stoughton and Mikey Lewis. He had the delight of putting the ball down under the H's. This stadium is absolutely silenced by that try. I think they know their numbers up now. Composure wasn't it from Matt Stoughton. Trapped it with his foot, raced towards the line, offloaded to Mikey. In the Robins went. Has just walked that decision. Dean Hadley. Litton, again a testing kick. Oh, they've lost it. Rovers will score. Joe Burgess. Is it? No, it's Tommy Opacek. Tommy Opacek. He's been on the field around five, ten minutes or so as a replacement for Ollie Gildart. He kicks ahead, gets the ground in. Lee unable to deal with the kick once again. Chris Kendall is going to send it upstairs. He sent it up as a try. And Tom Opacek may have Rovers' fifth try of the game. Minchellet was the man who challenged. Ooh, tell you what, the shoulder of Minchella does hit Matt Moylan it was a bit of a swinging arm as well so this may see a penalty go against the Rovers skipper and it may also be a sin binning but they are going to go to the grounding are they I'm not sure I think it misses if he does swing his arm They're looking to see if there's any foul play there, aren't they? He'd already lost the ball, Moylan. It's all, it's all whether Minchella hit him unfairly. If they roll it to the ground and it's a try, if they go back again, it will be chalked off and we're maybe down to 12. They are rolling it on. No, they're not. But we now need to see what happens to Elliot Minchella. What's Kendall's decision going to be? Is he going to go to the pocket? Is there any mitigation? No, it's going to be a yellow, at least. Elliot Minchella is sat down for 10 minutes. So Minchella is penalised and Rovers get a penalty. Someone explain that to me. I can only assume there may have been a Rovers man taken off the ball in back play, so that was the first offence, but I don't know. Rovers have a penalty. Can Lewis land it? The answer is yes to the cheers behind those uprights. Has he got the time to get position? No, he's going to run it. Stabs in behind, Bachelor. Oh! That was the final action of this game. Lee kicked the ball dead. 
Rovers victorious and comprehensively. 10 0 at half time. Lee had a dig at the start of the second half, but Jesse Sue's try on 48 was the real game breaker. He scored to make it 14 0. Mikey Lewis converted for 16. And then on the hour, Mikey Lewis scampered in for his second after Rovers kept the ball alive. Tommy Opacek was thwarted by the video referee not long after that. Elliot Minchella was sin binned, but a penalty from Mikey Lewis from that result in play made it 24 0. And Lee never really laid a glove on Rovers on this game, did they? Rovers. Questions were being asked. How would they respond to a defeat at Wigan last week? Tell you what, viewers on Hulk TV, there is your answer.